Shalom. Hello. This is our oral Hebrew lesson number four. Get out your notebooks because you're going to start writing straight away. And the first word we're going to look at is, so write this in the column, in your left-hand column, a lamp or a light. So L-A-M-P or L-I-G-H-T. And in the right-hand column, write this. Ner. Ner. Once again, notice how the Hebrew hangs from a line. We don't write it on the line. We hang it from a line. Ner. A light. So press pause and write that down. First question. A ner. A ner. Ner po. Ner po. A ner. Ner sham Hakam Ner Po Kam Ner Po Hakam Ner Sham Kam ner sham. Our next word, left hand margin, write this a horse, H O R S E, a horse. In the right hand side, write this Sus, Sus. Press pause and write it down. Sus. That's a horse. First question. Aye. Sus. Po. Sus. Hakam. Po sus Kam po sus Halein sham sus Lein sham Sus Hadash Po Sus Dash Po Sus Now in Hebrew we have the definite article that's the word for the it points out something distinctly. There is no word for a or a. There's just a word for the. And it's the letter ha put in front of a word. So it's ha placed in front of a word. And that means the. However, what it also does is it doubles the sound of the next letter. So if ner is a light, the light is han ner. Han ner. But we don't write two n's, at least not in, in, in Hebrew. In Aramaic sometimes this happens. But in Hebrew we don't write two n's. What we do is this. We put what's called a dagesh. Forte. 
a strong dagesh in the middle of the letter. So that's the black dot in the nun. Han ner. Han ner is how we pronounce it. So you can write down the light in your margin and next to it write this han ner. Han ner. Press pause and write it down. Um, there are three sounds, however, that cannot easily be pronounced double. And instead, the syllable, the first syllable, is lengthened. It's lengthened this way by going han. That lengthens it from ha to han. That makes it a longer syllable. Han ner. But we can't lengthen it that way with three letters. These letters are aleph and resh and ein. So what happens there is the vowel instead of the ha is lengthened. It goes from ha to ha. Okay. Um, we'll deal with that later. There are no examples of this at this point in the course, but they will come up later. So han ner, the light. And this dot in the middle is called a dagesh forte. This is Latin, of course, forte, strong. It's a neuter form, fortis, fortis, and forte. Forte is the neuter. Dagesh being a Hebrew word is a neuter word in Hebrew, in, in Latin. Um, a lot of the terminology, um, certainly in English, for Hebrew grammar is, of course, Latin terminology. Um, although there is Hebrew terminology as well, most textbooks you encounter, written in English, will use the Latin terminology for discussing Hebrew grammar. First question. I ye han ner. Han ner po. Hakam. Han ner sham. Kam. Han ner sham. Now notice the difference between the ha for a question and the ha of the is as follows. The ha of a question doesn't involve the doubling of the next letter and therefore doesn't involve making the first syllable longer. So we don't say hak kam han ner sham. We say hakam. Hakam han ner, not hak kam. Hmm? You got that? Um, it's a subtle distinction. And of course, the ha of the question is usually attached to a verb, whereas ha for the is usually attached to a noun or an adjective. Our next word, the horse, write that down in your margin, the horse, H-O-R-S-E, and on the right hand side write this, has sus, has sus, remembering that this s is doubled, has sus. Has sus. Okay, now I've added something to the word. Have a look at it again. And you'll see the two dots under the second letter, under that samech. This is called a shva. A shva. And there are various rules for pronouncing it. What we have here, of course, it looks like there's one shva, but there are two. Because it's has with its shva. And then the letter is doubled with the schwa again. Sus. The first time, the schwa is not pronounced. The second time, it is. So, has sus. Has sus. It's a very faint uh sound, like the kind of uh sound in the word belief. That slight uh that's between the b and the l. Belief. It's a very small uh sound. Has sus. So, 
the horse. And here's our first question. Ha-lein has sus po Lein has sus po Now, if I just gonna ask is the horse here? Notice the difference. Hasus po. Po sus. So there's no dagesh forte in the s of hasus when it's a question. Is the is a horse? Hasus po is a horse here. But if I was going to say, is the horse here, it would be has sus, with a doubled s. This definite article in Hebrew is called the he ha ye dia. A he ha ye dia. Next question. Ha kam has sus po. Kam has sus po. Hadash has sus sham. Dash has sus sham. Hatsam has sus. Sam has sus. Harats has sus po. Rats has sus po. Harats has sus sham. Rats has sus sham. Hashav has sus po. Shav has sus po. Hashav has sus sham. Shav has sus sham. Aye has sus. Has sus po. Next word we're looking at is a pit, P I T. A pit, P I T. It also refers to the um, when you're pressing olives and the oil flows into this sort of hole that was dug in the ground, covered in lime mortar. That was also called the pit. Um, and the word is bor, bor, bor. So press pause and write that down. The pit is hab bor, hab bor. Hakam hab bor po. Kam hab bor po. Hakam. Hab bor sham. Kam hab bor sham. Aye hab bor. Hab bor po. Hasam atapo. 
sam ani po. Mi dash po. Dash ani po. Aye tsad ata. Tsad ani sham. Mi ba sham. Ba ani sham. Our next word is stranger, S T R A N G E R. Stranger also means a foreigner or someone who's not Jewish. Um, and here is the word. Ger, ger, ger. Press pause and write it down. We start with our questions. I ye hag ger. Hag ger po. Hava hag ger sham. Ba hag ger sham. Mi dash sham. Dash hag ger. Sham Hatsad Hagger Sham Tsad Hagger Sham Anna Shav Hagger Shav Hagger Po An rats hag ger. Rats hag ger. Sham. An arts hag ger. Arts hag ger po. Hadan Hagger Po Dan Hagger Po Halein Hagger Sham Lein Hagger Sham Anna Kam Hag Ger Kam Hag Ger Po Our last word for this lesson is Uncle U N C L E and this is the father's brother. It can also mean a friend and it can also mean a lover. So here we have it. Dov, Dov. I'll repeat it. Dov. And with the definite article, the uncle. Had Dov. Had Dov. First question. He arts. Had dos po arts had dos po an arts had dos arts had dos 
شام ای داش هاد دوز داش هاد دوز پو سوری بات دات انا ساد هاد دوز Tad had dos po. E atta. Ani po. An shav had dos. Shav had dos po. Ah, sorry about that phone call. So I've lost my place a bit. Here we go. Anna rats has sus. Rats has sus sham. Me rats had dod or has sus. Rats has sus. Or you could answer that question. Rats had dos. Mi shav hag ger o ata. Shav ani. Or you could answer it. Shav hag ger. Mi rav po had dod o hag ger. Rav po hag ger. Or you could answer it. Rav po had dod. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. Bye.